hi <laughs> it's a uh, Tuesday Wednesday Wednesday evening and I work today and I came home because in a hurry because somebody was picking up the bed guess what Daniel's bed has a new home and it's not in my living room anymore look it's really happy. I'm really happy it's a family that I met through one of our nurses they have a little boy who has CP and he has a trach and he's five and uh, he really needed a safe bed so it's gonna work out really well but they came we took it apart loaded it into his truck and I feel really happy that I finally found somebody who could use the bed John cooked and made fish tacos for everybody Luke and Sarah Luke and what I say Luke and Sarah went to Fairfield today went to the beach went out to lunch went to Goodwill bought some treasures I worked a little while Thomas had a sax lesson Daniel had a great day he was outside a lot today and it's beautiful the weather's been great I'm very happy I have room for my Christmas tree again yay here we have TV happening there's Luke there's Holly she, she eat her dinner all of it happy Thursday it's about noonish. I just had a pulmonary appointment. Uh, it's my CPAP machine checkup, follow up with the doctor. It went well. Apparently, my CPAP is doing good things and I'm not having apnea. So, I'm going to go right into Michael's because Sarah and Luke want to do some painting on canvas and they asked for a few supplies. And I picked up some more groceries. I was going to go to the pool today at 1 30, you know, and just just get back onto my two o'clock regimen. I'm, I just got too anxious. It's so early and I didn't want to stay in Danbury this long. So I'm just going to get their stuff and head home. I actually have to return a bunch of stuff from Daniel's party. You know, things I didn't need, decorating things that I just decided I wasn't going to use. I haven't talked that much about the party, but I will later. I'm just, I've just been kind of emotional and a little bit overwhelmed. So one day at a time. It's time to make the meatballs. I must go now. I make meatballs. Oh, it's so good. We're having the spaghetti and meatballs and macaroni and cheese and a veggie burger and some veggie some burger salad. and some angel food cake and strawberries and bread. Boy, Sarah's priming the what should we call it? Canvases. Canvases. Yeah. Oh, you have a new town night hawk shirt on. Yeah, that's one. Where's the wine part? We didn't pour the wine yet. Okay. Figured we would kind of get settled before we start drinking. <laughs> well, isn't that half the fun? So I came downstairs to do Thomas's laundry and I walked in the living room to get something to eat, or the kitchen rather, to get something to eat. And then I looked over this way and I saw, oh my god, what is going on over here? And it's a painting party with Luke and Sarah. Hi, Julie! Julie's here too. And that's Luke's picture. That's very nice, very nice. And this is Sarah's. You guys are so talented. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Smile for the camera. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and then there's Julie over here doing something else. Now, instead of they're doing it, they're watching a video. See this? Move your hand, princess. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Bob Ross is teaching them how to paint. <laughs> well, so she's watching it here. And you were you watching it too on the phone? Yeah, no, on my iPad. On the iPad. Okay. Wow, you guys are awesome. Look at that. Wow, is that gonna fit in your bag on the way home, Luke? <laughs> you'll have to carry it. Yeah, you'll just tell everybody you're a world famous artist. <laughs> Maybe they'll bump you to first class. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That's awesome. I think that's great. Good job, guys. Um, 
scheduled to pass away today. Well, the Doggies want to go to bed? Yes. Oh. One. Vote. Hey, how come you put mine behind? I just move them in a way that they all fit. Will you do it in here? Will you do it in here? I'm at the movie theater waiting for Luke and Sarah. They were exploring around Southbury while I got ready. I guess I just decided to come and see Elton John movie today. Rocket Man, I think it's called. <laughs> and just enjoy the um, the last couple days with her till she goes back to California. So that's what I'm doing. Movie was really good, and now I'm going to run a few errands and take a walk. Ah, let's head to home from the movies. You know, give it like wonder. Those of you who have who have kids who are older, it's like having children is such a selfless activity like you create this being you love them you support them you guide them they just they mean the world to you you take care of them you make yourself go broke because of them you give them everything you want them to be able to have lives and to be productive and happy and fulfilled and have their own lives and careers or whatever and then sometimes you just think, you know, I'm so interested in every single aspect of their life. I'm very interested. You know, I've been there all the way. I know them better than they realize that I know them. And yet, your kids are really not interested in return <laughs> in what you like. Like, they, they love you because you're mom and dad, right? Mom and dad, family. But then, as your kids become independent, you sort of come back out again from all the years of caregiving and reinvent yourself or at least I do who I am starts to reappear a little bit you know the things that drove me and interested me before I was married and had kids sometimes it's like you're a part of a family but yet you feel alone because people are just not interested in you in your hobbies and your dreams and your goals and the pressures and the anxiety and the stress and all of the things that are wearing away at your soul you know and then all the good things and then all the bad things and and I guess it's just supposed to be that way right it's supposed to be that way we separate oh. It's gonna thunder today. Maybe we'll have a storm.